Hello everyone, how's it going? Adamir, and today we are back with some more Dragon Ball Fighters. Um, uh, we're not going to be talking about Dragon Ball Fighters, though. We're going to be talking about the new Dragon Ball Z game that's coming out, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. As you can see, I'm ha I have an update for it for some reason. I pre-ordered it. Um, I think that might be the main game. Don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> Uh, after it's done anyway, so I don't really do discussion videos too often so uh, It's also very new to me, but um, I Just wanted to kind of break down or really just show my opinion over this new game because there's been some mixed reviews about it in the last Last few months, I guess last six months, maybe like when this game got first announced I've been seeing Twitter uh, or tw just tweets in general that talking about oh, we're having the Dragon Ball Z story again, <laughs> you know, uh, pretty much like that, um, and then some people say it's gonna be really good, who knows, um, personally, I have hope for it, I think that since they're not really, there's really no multiplayer aspect to it, I'm thinking it's gonna be somewhat decent if you're just, if you just like Dragon Ball Z for what it is, um, and wanna play like a single player experience, which, um, surprisingly, the last few games have been lacking. Like, in this game, I do like the story in this game. It's just that it's not really that fun to play. That's just, that's probably just my opinion, honestly. But it's too easy. And that's coming from someone who sucks <laughs> at, uh, at this game. It's too easy for me. Um, so yeah, uh, like I mentioned before, the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is going to be going over the, um main story of Dragon Ball Z. It's going from the Saiyan Saga to the Buu Saga. Um, and everything in between, which is, um, interesting. I think, actually, the last time we've had, like, a full-on plot, like, like, direct follow in the script, was, I believe, Dragon Ball Rage and Blast 1. At least the last one I played. There could have been one in between. Um, I think Battle of Z was probably the closest we were gonna get <laughs> to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, but to me, it just didn't feel like it. It was fun, but it didn't really feel all that like the story to me even though it had like an rpg aspect uh, which we'll be getting into shortly so the first thing i wanted to talk about is the the whole rpg open world aspect i well first off it's not really open world it's kind of like open areas like large areas apparently are in the game i learned this from like a, like a 10 things you need to know from like game ranks or something like that um, it's not actually open world, it's just uh, large areas that um, I assume you can do a lot of things in. Um, I think like the Cell Games Arena would probably be one, for, for example. Um, I mean, it's a decent idea, I don't really see anything wrong with it, but I just wonder like how that's going to work with like RPG elements. Or not really RPG elements, but like... Um, yeah, like, well, I guess, yeah, I guess kind of like that. When it comes to, like, fishing, you know? Because fishing is going to be a thing in this game. Um, and, yeah, I don't know. It, it's a very interesting idea, and I'm kind of happy that it's not really open world. Because I feel like it's something too new to the Dragon Ball Z franchise. I feel like this is a good spot to be. Because you can't just make, like, a game like this, where it's, like, only, like, a side-scroller fighting game. And then just make an open world RPG. I just don't. I don't know. I don't. I feel like it's just something that it would just turn out really bad if handled um, improperly. Um, but I don't know. I do like. I do like the whole aspect of a uh, open area thing, though. It's really good. Um, so I mentioned before that Dragon Ball Fighters was a Dragon Ball. Wait, no, Dragon Ball Battle of Z. Um, is the game that's uh, pretty close to this. It's It had levels, and it had kind of big areas like kind of what Dragon Ball Z Kakarot's going for. And you could pick a team. You can have like two, maybe three random people with you. Not random people, but like AIs that'll help you fight. I don't think that'll be the way this game goes, but uh, we'll just have to see in about three days. <laughs> um... But I feel like when it comes to comparisons, that's probably the closest we'll get. And I actually had a lot of fun with it. 
But um, when it came from like a story aspect, it really wasn't all that good. I mean, it was okay. You know, it was, um, it told the story in an interesting way. I don't know if it followed the script exactly, though. I think it was a little bit different in some ways. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm really, I'm actually looking forward to the whole RPG aspect, because um, if you pre-order the game, you can get special items that permanently increase your attack and speed. Is it speed? Maybe it might be health, I'm thinking about. Um, so that means that there's probably going to be like potions, not potions, like food, that will like increase your stats for a certain amount of time or something, so you might want to do your missions there, or during that time, which is interesting. I might want to go without it, <laughs> if this is the way it's going to be, you know what I'm saying, because like, I'm talking about Dragon Ball Fighters in terms of the story mode, because it was really easy, extremely easy. Um, hopefully the next game's harder. Um, but I feel like it will, I feel like it will, um, what's the word I'm thinking for, I'm thinking of, I think it's, I think it's going to deliver, there's a lot of hype around the game, I hope it's enough <laughs> for them to be like, okay, we need to be serious on this, okay, so we talked about the open world aspect, and we talked about, um, it being an RPG and whatnot, but we haven't really talked about, like, how they're going to do the story, I mean, we know it's going to be the Z Saga, okay, but I, but from what I've seen in the trailers, or just gameplay footage I've seen on YouTube, it seems like it's more uh, tailored to everything, <laughs> you know, like everything that happened in the, in the Z, uh, Z Saga, and maybe even some filler episodes too, um, like I think uh, Garlic Jr., I, I, I watched Dragon Ball Z Kai growing up. <laughs> I watched it on, like, what, Team Nick or something like that? Um, so it was Dragon Ball Z Kai, so I didn't really see all that. I mean, I did once I rewatched Dragon Ball later, but that was, like, a long time ago, and I don't remember crap from it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that was Dragon Ball... It was, it, there was Garlic Jr. in Dragon Ball Z, and I feel like it's going to be in the game. I think there's going to be some filler. Um, which will make the game have a little bit more content. I know for a fact it's going to have that episode where Piccolo and Goku get their driver's license. Or at least go to driving school. I don't know if they got their driver's license in that episode, honestly. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think that would be really fun to drive around with Piccolo. Because it seems like you're just going through the, the, going through the story as Goku. Which is, um, it might be limiting limited but uh, i feel like if they put enough effort into telling the story of goku make it feel like we're actually him um i think it'll be really good i think it'll be a really good story even though we've literally heard this story probably hundreds of times at this point like we all know what's gonna happen unless if it's your first dragon ball z game and you've never seen the show before um this might be, I hope that this is a game that will make people want to watch the show if they've never seen it before. Which is honestly surprising. <laughs> um, but, I don't know, I don't know what else to say about it. It's, it's an interesting game that's something that they've never done before. Or at least they're not making it this intense, story driven. Uh, and we're just going to have to wait. Tell this update's done. It seems to be the actual game. Um, because it's only at 3%. <laughs> I've been recording for quite some time now. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. I re I'm really looking forward to this. I will, I will, uh, do, I don't know if it's going to be a live stream or a video yet. Most likely a video because of, uh, of, um, my new college, you know, situation. I mean, live streaming seems like the easier option, but I don't know. I might have to flip a coin on it. In all seriousness. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this little discussion video. It's not really all formal. I'm not writing an essay for this. I'm just kind of speaking my mind. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to this game. I I I never pre-order games. I never do. I only pre-order games that I know I want to buy, and this is one of them. So I hope that it's good. 
Um, I all, uh, they said that there was going to be like a new character by Akira Toriyama if I pre-ordered it, so that kind of made me want to do it too. Um, I forgot his name. It might be a girl for all I know. I, I don't know. Um, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it. If you like these discussion videos, let me know. I can do more, uh, especially since now um, videos are going to be coming scarce on my channel. Um, but yeah, hope to see you guys next time. Drop a like if you liked it. Subscribe for more and goodbye.